let's go. It is December the 10th, 2017. I was in the middle of doing another video, uh, kind of just doing some body language on a couple of press conferences that I had just watched. And news came across that Carson Wentz looks like he's going to be out for the season. And I know there's some fans out there right now of other teams that are ecstatic about this. But let me tell you something. You should not be ecstatic about this. You should not. We need fans of the NFL, right? The NFL. Anyone that loves the NFL. We need these young QBs to succeed. I believe that in baseball right now, one of the biggest reasons why they're starting to elevate their game and why they're getting more people to watch is because they've got these young kids that are coming in and they're just breathing a, they're just, it's giving a breath of fresh life. And the NFL has got a really good chance to do the same thing with some of these young QBs that they got in there. But, but man, you know, this guy going out, you know, especially at this point in the season. I, I am no Philly fan. People are getting confused because they think that trust the process somehow has to do with the 76ers or uh, something along those lines, but it doesn't. I am not a Philly fan whatsoever. I do like Carson Wentz. I'm not going to lie. I like the kid. I thought he was the best coming out of that draft, and I still think he's the best coming out of that draft. Um, but I like him a lot. I, I really do. And I'm a huge Jameis Winston fan. Like, that's my dude. But, man, uh, Carson Wentz, I tell you what, <laughs> he's a guy I would take. I'm not even going to lie. I like him a lot. Just everything about him, he's, he's unbelievable. But to see him go down right now at this point in the season and as good as he was playing this year, oh, it's, it's heartbreaking. I can only imagine what my Philly fan friends are going to be saying tomorrow at work. They, they're not going to be happy, I can tell you that much. Um, and I honestly, I feel bad for them. I really do. Uh, normally, I don't necessarily feel bad for the fans. In this particular case, I kind of do. I'm not even going to lie. I kind of feel bad. I obviously feel bad for Carson Wentz, though. What a shoddy thing to happen, man. What a shoddy thing to happen. Hopefully, he does his thing and comes back next year and, you know, rehabs and, and gets back. But, man, an ACL injury. Anyways, nevertheless, my whole point behind the video is that no matter what no matter what team you root for, you could be the biggest bitter rival of Philadelphia. You do not want something like this to happen. You don't. You want him to succeed. You may not want him to beat your team. You may not want their team to win the division. You may want to win that division. If you're a Cowboy fan, obviously you don't want to see him, you know, stomp all over your boys. But at the same time, you know, it's good for the NFL to have more competition, to have more young talent, especially at the QB position. That's what you want. You know what I mean? It's just it's what you want. When you get young QBs that that can do things, you know, man. I mean, I know it's on a different level, but I remember when Michael Vick came in the league, you know, as a Buck fan, we saw him twice a year. and Man, he just brought some energy to the game, you know. Um, we could get into a whole discussion about Michael Vick and what happened with him, but I'll leave that for another time. But Carson Wentz, I'm sorry for you, my man. That's rough. But anyways, uh... We'll see what happens the rest of this year with the NFL, though, man. This is it's heartbreaking. Anyways, uh, that's about all I got to say to this. But if you're out there and you're happy that this kid got hurt, you're twisted and you're not a true fan of the NFL because you don't want something like that to happen. So uh, even if it gave your team a better chance to win, because let's be real, when, you, when you're talking like getting in the playoffs, do you really want to beat a wounded duck? Nah, you want to beat them when they're their best. So you have bragging rights. All right? Anyways, I'm going to keep moving forward. Always going to trust the process and continue to have faith. I'll talk to you all later. I am out.